Hello there. Hi. Um, and who might you be? My name is the Toilinator. The Toilinator? Yes. Are you a superhero or a supervillain? I'm a supervillain. I'm actually the most powerful in the entire series. Toilinator? So what, what is that? What's up with the toilet thing? I don't know. It's like my first name's Lou. I decided to kind of go with the whole toilet theme. It seemed uh, pretty reasonable. Do you disrupt people's toilets? What? Oh yes, I can go out of my way and I make people's toilets clog beyond their wildest imaginations. To the point where they can't unclog them? Oh, you better believe it. And if you want me to unclog them, you have to beat me in battle first. What brings you to, t to BGSU? Well, I decided to ask Mr. Boss and Night Race if I could come out to this anime convention, whatever that's called, and I wanted to show them that I can beat more characters than just the kids next door. The kids next door? Who are they? Uh, the kids next door are my arch nemesis, especially number four. Uh, I hate that guy so much. What? What is your ultimate goal then? Do you just simply seek to clog toilets? My ultimate goal is for the complete and utter downfall of the codename Kids Next Door and to show Mr. Boss, uh, Grandma Stuffle, and Night Brace especially, that guy, that I can't do anything. So, you want to, well, once the Kids Next Door are gone, what do you plan on doing next? I don't know, maybe go into movies, you know, act with a couple of different actors, you know. Maybe try out different, uh, di different hobbies, you know. But no, why can't you do those things now? Uh, my, because my ultimate goal is not yet complete. Once the kids next door are gone, then I'll be able to fill my lifelong dreams. Do, do they involve uh, owning your own toilet company or anything involving toilets whatsoever? Well, my father, he actually owns a toilet company himself, so I kind of want to stray away from that business. I told him my crazy idea of going into uh, movies and everything, and he just shot me down like nobody's business. So you want to go into movies? You know it. Do you, you want to play the villain character or do you want to try to stretch your uh, repertoire? I'm going to stretch my repertoire and I'm going to go as a good guy and I want to show that there's more to me than just toilets. That's very interesting. What, if you could tell the world about you other than toilets, what, what, what is it about you that you would tell them? I am a great actor. What was, what's a, a role that you could see yourself playing? Oh man, uh, well, I could actually see myself playing in an awesome live performance of the Blue Man Group because they love playing on instruments and they love making music in a racket. That's what I do the best. What, do you think you could incorporate toilets into that? Oh, you, you know it. I, I can bring toilets in for my just main instrument. I can make multiple sounds on that. Do you keep up with today's current toilet technology? Uh, no, I, I try not to. I kind of prefer the more regular traditional flush method instead of this whole Japanese raise your booty thing, whatever that does. So, uh, how many different plungers do you own? Uh, this is, uh, I would say a couple, but this, this is old Rusty. He's been with me since I started my building. So, what's some major misconception about toilets that people have? Well, people usually don't realize that toilets aren't that powerful, and that's why they clog so easily. People think that they can just put anything down there. The cat, the dog, grandma's uh, chicken casserole that they didn't want to eat anymore. The toilets have a very, very weak power. Now, have you heard of the theory that's going around, or the idea that people have been sitting in the toilet incorrectly? That there's a idea that you don't sit um, where you're facing away from the back of the toilet, but the back of the toilet is used as a table. Oh, oh goodness, no. You never want to eat off the top of a toilet. You don't know where that thing's been during the day. Oh, I don't mean table to eat on. I mean table to read a book or anything like that. 
I mean, that's, that's a little bit better, but I mean, it would be a little bit uncomfortable, I would think, if you're sitting that way. Ugh, no, I, I, I don't want to even think about that. Ugh. So, do you listen to music when you do your villainy? Uh, I, I kind of listen to a little bit, you know? What music do you listen to? Oh, oh man. I don't know. I, I listen to all different kinds. I listen to... Oh, man. Uh, ooh, I love listening to Rush. Rush is one of my favorite bands to listen to. It gets me in the mood, and I just want to kick by it. How many, no, getting back to the kids next door, how many are there? Uh, there are, let's see, uh, there are in total over 362 kids next door agents, but I mostly just focus on five. Wow, no, no, which of the, which of the five pose the biggest threat to you? Well, I would say number one poses the biggest threat because he's the main leader of the, of Sector B, Kids Next Door. But number four, I have the biggest quarrel with because he's my arch nemesis. Now, what's up with the yellow? I gotta ask. Why, why, why yellow? Uh, well, toilet theme. Uh, I, I, I really don't know. It, it makes me stand out. It makes me a little bit different from me. Like the villains who wear suits and jackets and dark blue. Now, is that just regular toilet paper you you have around there? Uh, yes, it is. This is actual real toilet paper. Do you? Uh, how, what do you use that for? I mean, how is that? Oh, I, I other, mean, other than other than in the bathroom, I mean, like well, out and about, of course. Well, what I do is I, in order, sorry, I should say, instead of using it for the bathroom, I use it to attack my enemies. I have the dreaded two-ply toilet paper. So, uh, isn't it easy to get rid of through fire or things like that? I mean, how do you... It, it, it is. It vanishes very fast when I get drenched in a uh, sudden rainstorm coming back from a villain's convention or when I accidentally get lit on fire by a truck engine. But, you know, I, I apply my own special formula to it to make it withstand a few more environments than others. Now, if, it, is, if there's something you could tell the world, what would it be? Be careful with your toilets, kids. Otherwise, you'll get a visit from the toilet Well, thank you so much for your time. You are very welcome. And have a great day. You do the same.